Assalamu alaikum my friends welcome to another episode of coffee and captions where we try to get through a figure in my book the uh, revelation the story of Muhammad peace upon him in under five minutes I know it's been tough for me but today definitely we're gonna stay under five stick around So today's figure is called Notable Children of Abdul Muttalib. Now, who is Abdul Muttalib? Well, for those of you who know the story, you know that that incredible person we called Hashem in the last you know, episode on figures was the person who established the summer and the winter caravan routes. Hashem has a son, and that son's name is Abdul Muttalib. Abdul Muttalib is a very big figure in the early part of the life of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, because he is the Prophet's great, he is the Prophet's grandfather see sometimes i have to like check myself he's the prophet's grandfather okay and abdul muttalib had many many children and you hear a lot of their names but i just want to show you some of the children's names and specifically the ones that you need to pay attention to so here we have it we're looking at abdul muttalib right here abdul muttalib had many children here we have harith who is the oldest son we have Atika, Barra, and Arwa, who are three daughters of his. And then he have four other sons, Abu Lahab, Zub uh, Zubair, Abu Talib, Umayma, and Abdullah, Abbas, Hamza, and Safiya. So the reason why this is drawn out this way, and I know it looks kind of strange, is because each one of these lines are children from separate mothers. Okay, you have to recognize that polygamy was a very common thing back then in that period of time. Abdul Muttalib had many wives, and these wives had different children, and they're bunched together. The important thing that I want you to realize right here er, is this takeaway right here. Okay, Abdul Muttalib was married to a lady named Fatima, who gave him four children right here, and Abdul Muttalib also married a lady named Hala who is, we're gonna talk about a little bit more in the next uh, figure, but she's right here and she had gave two children to Abdul Muttalib. So what we're seeing here is that the Prophet peace upon him's father was Abdullah, right here with the circle, circled in green, okay? So these other three right here are the Prophet's direct aunts and uncles, specifically Zubair, Abu Talib, Umayma, Right, and some of these names will become more and more, um, uh, I guess, relevant as we move through this story. Specifically, Abu Talib, who's the Prophet's full paternal uncle, the brother of Abdullah, who takes care of the Prophet and is the Prophet's guardian for most of his uh, young life. And then you have other uncles like Abbas, who is the who the father of Sayyidina Jafar and Sayyidina Ali the Prophet's beloved cousins. And then you also have Hamza and Safiya. These were the Prophet's, this was the Prophet's aunt and the Prophet's uncle. And he loved them, but they were actually very close in age to the Prophet Muhammad, who's not even noted in this thing. I'm kind of getting ahead of myself here. But I want to just show you that these are some of the names of the children of Abdul Muttalib. Uh, one other person I can just tell you something interesting about right here, Abu Lahab, one of the biggest enemies of the Prophet, peace be upon him. He was not a full uncle of the Prophet. He was a half uncle, right? He had Abu Lahab, uh, Abu Lahab's mother, was different than the mother of Abdullah. And then here, the last one I'll show you right here is Harith, who is the oldest son of Abdul Muttalib right here. Harith is the one who helped Abdul Muttalib dig up the well of Zamzam. For those of you who are familiar with that story, if you're not familiar, make sure you uh, read that chapter or go listen to the Revelation Experience so you can hear all about that. Harith's son, as we will later see, is named Abu Sufyan. Now, not the Abu Sufyan that you're all thinking about, a different Abu Sufyan. There are two Abu Sufyans in the story of the Prophet Muhammad, peace upon him. But the easy thing to remember is that both Abu Sufyans were pretty bad enemies to the Prophet Muhammad. And what you're seeing here is a lot of his enemies were inside his family were from half uh, relatives, not full relatives. His full uh, aunts and uncles, they support him very dearly. So that's a takeaway a message from this. We're going to dive deeper into the story. These names will become more familiar to you as we get into it so forth. I wanted to keep this short, sweet, brief. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have any questions, of course, you can download these figures at therevelationexperience.com. Thanks so much. Have a wonderful day. I will see you guys soon. Inshallah. Assalamu alaikum.